side and a pickup of two. Fires long down the field. The pass is going to be caught. Touchdown, Tennessee, a long bomb. Touchdown to Rajon Neal. Bray with the win at his back, launched at 53 yards for the score, and Tennessee right back into the game. Vanderbilt defense on the field most of this drive. Over the middle, quick hitter caught. Broken tackle, touchdown, Ryan Timmons, 20 yards. Keep following and blocking those gap schemes of Vandy. Let's see how they handle it here, Lore. Backed up inside the 10 again. Their touchdown drive went 99 yards to start the game. Give Sims the INT touchdown. Bunch it up. Let's see what they do. Quarterback sneak. There it is. And he got in. For Kentucky, including Vanderbilt, a game normally played in November. JoJo Kemp brought down by Baron Dixon. I was surprised that Derek Mason didn't take timeouts with over a minute, about a minute 20, and he stopped them on first down to get to this point. You never know what happens, but decided to call it a day. I will say this, good win for Kentucky, even though they were held scoreless. A good win in that. The winner against North Carolina. Play action to him. Over the middle. Beautiful throw to the tight end. Allen. Touchdown, South Carolina. And now they go to some preparation. Here on the two point conversion, it's Cooper. Couldn't get there. Fumble picked up. That's a live ball, everybody. Here we go. Foot race. This could be a big two the other way. They botched the two-point conversion, and the Kentucky Wildcats strike with Ware taking it to the house for the deuce. 26-22. How about that, Jesse? He's got good breakout speed. Orth scrambling on the move to the left, intercepted. The youngster makes his first mistake. Westray intercepted. They're ruling, I believe, that he was down. The crowd react. Our storylines all over the place. After further review, the ruling on the field stands. I just don't. In half. But then the play that turned the scoring completely around. If that two-point conversion had not been scored, the strategy would have been completely different. South Carolina could have played for a field goal. And that makes it very different. Kentucky proves it can hang on and win a big one. Their first SEC conference road game win since November of 2009. As the running back. Tolls, middle, touchdown! Kentucky leads. Six. End zone, touchdown, Dorian Baker. And play that kept the Kentucky drive alive to score a touchdown and a drop touchdown pass by one of their receivers. That did them in in this game, but Kentucky, huge win for Mark Stoops in year three, huge win for Patrick Torres and the Wildcats. Second down and eight. This time they gave it to him decisively. 25-20. Cuts to the end zone. Touchdown, Kentucky. Boom, Williams.
a 43 yard burst. He set up this drive. Touchdown as he walks in after shedding the tackle. What a future. Oh, mercy. Kentucky has discovered a big back. They've got Hayden Hurst, tight end. He's lined up in the slot. Right here, he's been their most dangerous receiver all night. Got to reach the 18-yard line for a first down. In trouble. Down goes McElwain. Win here tonight will uh, give them a little life in that uh, drive to make a bowl game this year. That's, yeah, that yeah, would that's be critical. the goal in uh, South Carolina. Of course, they're a maturing team under Will Muschamp, very young. And let the party begin in Lexington. Mark is headed over to that touchdown catch in the red zone here. JoJo Kemp in that wildcat formation. He has 15 career touchdowns. Many of them out of this formation. You can add one more to his total from four yards out in a fantastic opening drive for Kentucky. So first and goal from the three yard line. Johnson will keep it himself and stroll into the end zone untouched. According to Derek Mason, operates best sometimes when the formation is opened up a little bit and there's less to think about. So a 28 yarder. Near hash mark. Kick is on the way and it is through. So give your quarterback a chance. Here at the end of the ball game. The Texans got to hold off. Shermer. Incomplete. Kentucky will hold on and survive. Big target at 6-2. Fitzgerald over the middle. Ross. Touchdown, Mississippi State. Mississippi State. Nine seconds to go. Johnson given time. Complete. And they get down immediately with three seconds to go in field goal range with a win here tonight. From 51. For the win. Straight away. Snap is down. McGinnis. Wildcats win. Third and two. So there you go back to the running game. Four two front. It's saying run all day long. Just two linebackers inside. Boom Williams first down and more past midfield. Boom's got a hole and he is gone. Touchdown Kentucky. 60 yards. Stanley no more. Crossing routes. Deep ball. Johnson lays it up and lays it out for Jeff Bidette. Touchdown, Kentucky. 65-yard strike. Snell on first and goal. Touchdown, Kentucky. Third and 11, need to get it inside the three for a first down. Pressure coming, Johnson pushes it off, and room here for Boom Williams. Touchdown, Kentucky. 13-yard catch and run for Boom. In first place in the SEC East. Need to finish this one off, and they turn to Benny Snell to do so. 
First play of the fourth quarter is a touchdown splash for Snell. Missouri will fall to two and three and remain winless for over a calendar year in SEC play. I can promise you the message. Mark Stoops is going to be one at a time. Let's take care next week. Fourth quarter. Fourth and goal stopped again on fourth down to South Carolina. It, this is where Kentucky has made enormous strides in their football team. Defensively, they believe in these guys. They're opportunistic, and they make these stops. How about the throw right here, though, Coach? Jake Bentley drops it in on fourth down, running out of real estate. Nice toss, perfectly there for his receiver to run under. Yeah, the only place he could have really put it. Watch this. Third and eight. Here's your backbreaker. Steven Johnson, he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Now, somewhat surprisingly, I wanted him to score. The turf. Yeah. He at least stayed in bounds. They were able to keep the clock running to that point in time. But more importantly, that's what Steven Johnson brings to this offense, the escapability, the pressure that he puts on defenses with his legs. Protect him? Wow. He can definitely throw the football. All right, so Missouri trying to tie it up. Kick is blocked. Lonnie Johnson makes the play. Kentucky ends up adding another field goal. So it's 40 to 34. Lock to Jamon Moore. Now they don't have a timeout. And Kentucky makes a great play. They don't get him out of it, let him get out of bounds. So Moore ends up actually having the ball knocked out of his hands. He can't get it to the ref. Kentucky player knocks it out. Ref slow to get the ball to the spot. All the while, time's ticking away before Lock can spike it, leaving him just one final play. Yeah, I mean, again, you're looking at five seconds that you wasted there because the golden rule is go back when you catch the ball and hand it to the official. That's the golden rule. Again, when things like that happen, you lose five seconds. Could have been a difference in another play. The, you know what? Watching it here was the first time I'd actually noticed, though. The Kentucky player knock it out of Moore's hands, not allowing him to hand it mm -hmm. to the official. That's a 